Hello everybody. Welcome back to my knowledge share session learn with me. Today we are going to see another topic called process call in the cloud integration. Last class we saw that a process direct where we call an another i flow from one i flow to another, right? Sorry. From one i flow we will be calling an another i flow. Uh, meaning that uh, that the, the we will write some common uh, reusable code or reusable activities in one i flow the other i flows can uh, perform that i flow uh, from their local i flows right that 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 was uh, completed by a uh, adapter called process direct adapter right now we are going to see an uh, subsection of that instead of calling an uh, external i flow we are going to call uh, i flow inside the same i flow itself meaning you are going to divide your i flow activities from start to end into a smaller smaller modular thing it is similar to what you are doing in the normal programming language instead of writing a big code you are dividing that code into a small small portion uh, like a modular approach and then you are going to call that module by by a call statement or perform statement whatever the case may be it depends on your programming language okay uh, so that's what we are going to see that now uh, let us go to that diagram now uh, see that diagram now the first one is the the initial life flow which is having a uh, assume that it is having a lot of activities like activity 1 to activity 100 ok uh, so instead of writing that a uh, big activities you will divide that into smaller smaller portions right now the second picture shows I am grouping that activity 1 and activity 2 into a uh, one portion called and put it in one knife flow which is a local to me and same way I am putting activity 4 and activity 5 in, in, the, in the another local integration flow so the, in the same I flow you are going to have a main main section and you will have a two local sections and so finally your uh, the main I flow will be looking like that looking like the third portion you will have a start then you will have a one palette called process call that process call will call the your one of your local integration flow which you defined same way the another process call will do the another local integration flow that is the main main purpose apart from very good one is that uh, in the same process call you will have another option to iterate it meaning I can call this local integration flow for a definite number of times looping it so the process call uh, the process call explanation what I am going to do it I am put it in a two two separate videos one just explain a simply a process call calling a local integration flow and coming back my next set of video uh, will will tell you about how I can repeatedly call the same local recognition flow for a different number of times looping it okay that we will see that separately so in this section I am going to explain a simple a process call calling a local integration flow meaning I am going to divide that I flow into a modular section and finally I am going to call each module by a palette called process call ok now I will go to BTP and show you how I am going to create that I flow how I will create the local integration flow and I am how I am going to call that local integration flow ok now inside my BTP I will go to my I am already inside my package sample one I will go to art artifacts Uh, I'm going to open uh, the 
iFlow which I already created. The reason why I'm already uh, the reason why I'm using the already created iFlow is just to save the time uh, because uh, when I start creating it in front of you, it takes a lot of time uh, for some reasons and the video time is too much and just to avoid that I am just showing it in, uh, in the already created iFlow however I will explain how I did that uh, please do comment if you still require uh, to create that in front of you ok now this is my iFlow which I already created ok so as you said, uh, I will just show as edit and show it to you. So this is the sender. Sender is connected to the iFlow uh, via the HTTPS adapter, which you should be knowing that. Okay. Now for the demo demonstration purpose, I created one content modifier. modifier. In that content modifier, I am just the just to show that the flow uh, in the first uh, content modifier I am showing this is the body from my main iFlow this is the main iFlow I am putting putting the body whatever I am sending it ok and this is the local iFlow I created it local iFlow you can create it via, via this place go, go to this place and create a local integration process once you created it then you, ca you can put it here once you put there then in that local integration flow you can give the name I gave the name called perform get token ok this is the name I have given and uh, processing just leave it right now so I named it like that so inside the local sh local uh, integration flow you can put your own activities here which are specific to this local process in, uh, in my example it is supposed to be written for getting some token by calling an api okay but just to for demonstration purpose i just put in one content modifier in the content modifier i am just put some message here I put a body again and my local integration starts here ok this is my just to know that the control is coming here ok after creating this perform uh, this local integration process go here and you can create the process call by selecting this uh, sorry by uh, you can do like that by selecting this you can call local the local local integration sorry uh, process call this one you can select this process call once you select this process call then in the uh, properties of that process call you can name name whatever you want here because effect, uh, by best practice you should give the same name what local pro local integration process name you are going to call ok so that I just put perform get token here in the processing section uh, if you go for select statement it will show you like this well, how, suppose you created uh, 2 to 3 local integration process then it will show you all the local integration process whatever you created in this iFlow then you can select one of them so I just created only one so it is showing only one to me so it gives the same name perform get token ok that you can put it here that's all this is how it is connected then last portion again a content modifier I just to show it final output 
body this is red control back written from a back to main knife flow this is what it's showing to me all right now you got the point now so nothing special uh, to start with you create your own local integration process here by selecting this one after that uh, you can call one palette a process call a process call in the process call uh, you can select what are the local integration process you have created here so that will be called that's all that's it nothing nothing big uh, thing no rocket science uh, this is how uh, the local uh, integration process can be called and you can uh, modular modularize your high flow statements right uh, as i told you in the next video i will i will show you the same process call we can do it in a iterative method i can perform this local integration process call the local integration process for a definite number of times looping right that we will see it in the next section but in this video just we will see how a local integration process can be constructed right that's it now i will show this in the postman and show you the flow now i am inside the postman i am going to execute that uh, iflow uh, which is called demo pcc okay so just for template i am just sending my body here okay i am sending it okay see see the output now so this is body from a main flow which is coming from my first content modifier which is there this place right this body from my main flow this is what it is coming and then then what it does it then it goes to the perform get token this local integration process is called in the local integration process we have another content modifier which will tell me the body as my local integration starts here see my local integration starts here that is coming here okay finally after completing this this is going back here then third content modifier in that control returns back to the main so the control return back to the main flow so this is how uh, we can use uh, this is how we can use the uh, process call the process call is nothing but you are you are modularizing your high flow statements that is a very first very very basic step second thing is very important point is the modularized portion Uh, the the specific that local life flow can be called uh, in a iterative way that is a, that is done by another palette called uh, looping a process call the how we created a process call same way there is a another palette called a loop process call that will have some parameters to how to set up the loop that we will see it in the next video Uh, how to uh, do do a yeah, iterative of process call okay hope this uh, this session will be helpful to you uh, uh, please do comments uh, and put your comments on in my uh, video comment box your comment and remarks will encourage me a lot also please do subscribe to my channel if you like it okay thank you so much